Welcome to my YouTube channel Mechanical Magic Mechanical Learning Tutorials. So in my previous lectures I am talking about a uh, cheap formations in the case of the ductile and brittle materials and basically we finding that in case of ductile materials that material having a characteristics of long permanent deformations. So for the metal cutting operations in the case of the lathe machines or you can say paper machines it will be developing a long continuous chips and sometimes due to the some in arrangement or you can say some cutting conditions it will be also generating continuous with the built up each kind of chips so during that chips it will be flowing onto the top side of a particular tools so just you can see over here the initial conditions like this here it will be the workpiece material and this one is our tool so this one is our workpiece tool so this chips is being formed at that particular shear plane and by the continuously moving onto that particular chip onto the top face of the tool so that will be wear out or you can say increasing a temperature so it will be the necessary to cut that particular chip during the machining of particular tactile materials so this will be our new topics and that will be called as a chip breakers so here continuous chips producing while a machining a ductile materials often causes a difficulties of the handling problems because they occupy the considerable space as well as sharp edges. So that will be sometimes damaging onto the machines or can see tools as well as the surface finishing of the workpiece materials. So the 70% heat containing by the chips. So for that particularly and turns and start rotating with the jobs and that will be damaging the internal parts of the machine as well as tool and the workpiece materials so it is desirable to break these chips into the short convenient length for the easy disposals or it will be not damage the labor also so the metal cutting tools often provide with the chip breakers to perform these kind of functions so that will be the important part for the tool design so chip breakers controls the directing flows of the chips such that it strikes and obstructs and it will be broken. So basically just you can show over, see over here the chip breakers three types. First one is a step type, second one is a groove type and third one is a clamp type of chip. So just you can see the step type of chip breakers. So in your single point cutting tool such kind of shape is providing onto the tip of the tool so here as you can see one step is providing at the tip of the tool so by the flowing of that particular chips over here so by the application of that continuously step type it will be making obstruction by the flowing of that particular chips and it will be breakdown second one is a groove type of the chip breakers so into a tip of the tool such kind of groove is providing so by that particularly flowing of that particular chips onto that the surface so it will be making an obstruction and strike and it will be a broken down sometimes it will be in the third categories or you can say clamp type it will be difficult to make a group or step type according to the my requirement of the machinings so one additional clamp is provided onto the tool so such kind of chip breakers is called as a clamp kind of chip breakers so in all that three categories the main thing is what the chips is strike with that particular area and it will be broken out so it will be in the form of segmental so it will be easily disposable so that will be the importance of the chip breakers into the metal cutting operations so if you like it then subscribe and share mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials thank you